All right, uh, welcome to our uh, computer fixing tutorial. We have a Dell Inspiron 1721 here who seems to have a, a BIOS problem. Uh, the BIOS isn't working at all. And uh, we're gonna show you how to fix that in a very uh, intricate and uh, basic tutorial, how to you know, get this working. It's working. So, First thing you want to get is some safety goggles. You always want to be safe when working with electronics or computers. Um, the first step, we in fact, we already tried. Uh, we tried calling technical support with uh, this phone. Phone. I made a couple customizations to. Um, if you'd like to see how I did these amazing, you know, tricks to the phone, uh, the link should be somewhere around here. If not, I suggest uh, your BIOS is probably broken. In which case, this tutorial has come just in time. So uh, let's start with that because uh, this phone doesn't work. So first you're going to need some screws to um, you know just get to those small to reach places. Um, here's some driver CDs that came with the laptop that um, might prove useful. A user manual which I found about as useful as a screen door in a submarine. Uh, next we want uh, some tape in case anything falls loose you know you can just secure it with that and uh, you know if you're not one for scotch tape you prefer bourbon or beer or electrical tape and masking tape, they also work just as well. Um, let's see what else we got here. We have some bits that are used for drills because, you know, sometimes you lose screws and sometimes you've got to make compromises. That's what life's all about. And uh, we've got some saws. We have a cement chisel, a hammer in case, you know, the sanding down doesn't work. You can really hit stuff down with that. Um, a thermal paste applier. This uh, increases the conductivity of heat between your heat sink and your CPU. This improves PC performance and may also be the cause of your BIOS not working. And uh, just a couple more tools here. We got a wire stripper and uh, a level because uh, levels are very important. And uh, last but not least, we have this uh, giant mallet that, uh, you know, um, well, well, we'll see if we need it. We probably won't though, but uh, you know, you'll see. So. Let, without any further ado, let's get started. So uh, the first step we're gonna take is we're gonna try uh, some of the things on these driver CDs. Now, uh, like any good computer tutorial man, I, I've searched the forums before, you know, coming to you guys, I'm not stupid. And uh, I've been getting, you know, some mixed results or mixed answers from people. Uh, they say sometimes this CD works and other times they say this one works. And, you know, we're kind of pressed for time here. So we're gonna try and combine these and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna start combining these CDs. And um, I think this, this cutter should work. Gosh. Okay, that's not, that's not really working. I think, I think we might get better uh, results with this. Uh, let's try this right here. And then we, uh, we cross the bits over. This is actually a really complex process, but you do it with tape. And uh, with, as always, because we're doing with computers, we use electrical tape. Why? All right, so next we uh, open up the CD drive. It's a little jam sometimes because, you know, no power. Put that drive in. It's nice and secure. It's stuck in there. Get that in. There we go. All right. So now we're going to turn it on and uh, see what happens. Uh, in case you've been wondering why uh, different people are working on these computers, because we got a whole team of experts working on this tutorial for you, so don't be surprised if the hands or voices change. Um, okay, so let's get this to turn on. And it uh, doesn't seem that it's taking the driver CDs, even though we combined them. Um, okay, well that option didn't work, uh, but don't worry, we always have others, so we're going to consult the manual next. So uh, the manual wouldn't talk and tell us uh, what steps to take next, so we're going to use our IT professional skills to get inside this and uh, start fixing the problem with the BIOS. Um, so we're going to get inside. And uh, what we got here is a label strike zone, which obviously must mean, you know, strike zone. Or, here, I mean, maybe we just got to get that in the right sweet spot. So um, we, we got this off, actually, surprisingly enough, without the help of the manual. There we go. Okay. 
Now we're ready to start working on the insides. Now sometimes when you have an airflow problem, it's good to just check out the fan. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get this with this fan going real quick here. Okay. The fan seems fine, so sometimes what you want to try is just... Um, okay, now that didn't really work, so we're going to uh, just drill some more holes for ventilation because, you know, when the BIOS is too hot, it just it just doesn't work. So let's, let's see here. Get the cable. Ooh, it's hot. Now up here in the North Bridge, you got to keep it really cool. You have North Bridge, North Pole. You keep it really, really cool up there. So, so uh, this fell off as we were uh, cleaning off some of the dust. Um, it's not that important because uh, Dell's a good company and they secure down that which is important. So we can uh, you know, just get rid of that. There we go. Uh, what we have right here is the heat sink that we're going to attach to this because again, heat is always a problem with the BIOS. So um, first up, we got to put some thermal paste on here. So hit that up, James, or whatever your name is. Like Carl. Okay, and then we just flip this quickly and attach that right there. And then we also need this on, and uh, we'll just uh, we'll put some more thermal paste. Works as great adhesive. That looks good. There we go. Okay. Uh, this is the thermal paste we're using. It's uh, made by Elmer's. It's Elmer's Craft Bond Paper Craft Glue Gel. Conducts heat very well. Okay. So I talked to a Dell representative and um, they said that replacing the CMOS battery might work. But we've got here a CMOS battery app applier. He's a technical professional, so we're just gonna put that there and he's gonna apply it. It didn't stick. Hold on. This thing doesn't want to stick, does it? Just it's right next to the glue. And yeah, it's stuck. Look at that, here we go. You don't call us professionals for nothing. So, um, we did our changes and uh, applied our fixes. And as IT professionals, we got the job done. And, um, yeah, so this is, uh, the RFC, fixes work. So just uh, follow this uh, tutorial and you will, you will be, We'll be doing well. All right, uh, thanks for watching our uh, tutorial on how to fix the BIOS on your laptop or computer. If you have uh, any other suggestions for our IT professional minds to uh, hack at, just uh, leave a suggestion in the comments below. So, um, as you saw in our last video, our fixes did apply uh, quite a bit of mass and weight and size to this. So. We thought, you know, we all sat around the table and thought, what's a good tutorial we can do next? Well, we're going to turn this desktop replacement laptop into an Ultrabook. Stay tuned. It's going to be a pretty cool tutorial.